We hope so, but again, it, it's got to be about our actions. And, you know, we've talked about it long enough, I'm sure. You guys have talked to me probably enough. And on September 3rd, we want to see what they can really do. And yes, I mean, you, can you say they're hungry? Can you say uh, they're inspired? Yes. But again, what that means until other adversity hits, that's when you see what your team is really made of. So I feel good about where they are. I feel good about where their minds are, uh, where their effort and energy levels are. But we're not, we're not crowning anything until we actually see it. A couple guys that didn't play yesterday, Bowler, Barry, anybody in this game? Right now, I, I don't, I don't do the question anymore. They haven't told us. We still got some time. Yeah, we're focused on this coming week. I think come uh, a week, maybe from today, we'll have a better idea of what we can expect and uh, what we can think we can plan for. But for right now, uh, we're still in competition with every guy. I haven't really thought about two weeks ahead of time just yet. Teams that have undergone far less turbulent off seasons than you have often come together with an us against them. Do you sense that on this team? Is that a motivating factor? You guys are kind of all in the locker room and everybody else is out there saying you're going to have the worst season in 10 years and stuff. Again, those are things on the outside that hopefully um, don't have a place in what we do. Uh, again, it's where we focus is, is the biggest thing. Yes, is it us against you know what I mean? H however each guy looks at it. You know, to me, it's, it's, it's us as a group. And uh, <clears throat> whether that's a motivating thing that what people say we can't do, um, every guy's motivated in different ways. But to me, we're just trying to make sure that they understand a good motivator because they want to make sure the buddy next to them can count on them. Not that we're the military, but that's kind of that philosophy of that whole that whole organization. That, uh, you know, what do you fear? Well, I, one thing I really fear is that, uh, that I might let my buddy down by not doing what I'm supposed to do. And, uh, that's us against the world, and that's us against the world. But right now, we're really focused on us and what we need to do moving forward. How, how close are you to settling on some guys, and uh, you know, when would you like to have some guys? Well, you answered the quarterback, but I mean, there are different levels. You know, are we sticking out of starting lineup just yet? I don't think so. We've got a good idea of some spots that we think guys hopefully can be starters. But if we go around the room and we try to evaluate guys on a daily basis, we kind of evaluate them right now. So do you think we can win the big time with them? Whether they're a starter or maybe they're a backup. Back to the quarterbacks, you want to, obviously, you, you want to throw as much as you can at them. You don't want to get anyone hurt, but I mean, what's the fine mix there? Because obviously you, you can't duplicate what they're going to face in the game, but you want to, you want to get an idea when you go in the battle. We hope that, uh, you know, what our defense can give them gives them some different things to look at. To me, the biggest thing now is as we move forward, I think it's really trying to focus in on what we think they do well. And we throw as much out of my guess as you can say as, as we could right now. But I think now as we go into the, the two weeks before the first game, it's really trying to figure out what it is that they do well, what makes our team, what gives us the ability to be great on the offensive side of the football for them. So I think that's where the, the focus is right now as the offensive staff. How much input do you think you'll have in offense? I mean, I, I assume you'll overrule the play call of you. I, I, I will listen um, and, and be communicative, obviously, with, with uh, situations, but you know, i got the utmost confidence in Coach Bowman and what they do on that side of football. It's, it's kind of a different perspective. We just sat there last night and this morning kind of talking about things, and, and he just kind of said, hey, I just like to hear what you have to say from a defensive perspective and what, how we're attacking you and what you guys are doing. You know, but to be honest with you, I, I'm not worried about that. I think that been successful in the way we've gone. Um, and I'm going to try and continue that in, in as much as possible. Obviously, offer my insight. If there's a decision to be made, obviously, we'll have to be, I'll have to be made. I'll have to make it. And I'm confident in what they can do. Coach, there's a lot of question marks surrounding uh, the wide receiver group being young as a whole. What have you seen from them so far out of camp? We see a great work ethic. I believe we got some young guys that, that have stepped up. As a whole, where we thought we might be real thin and young, in the, in the long run, we're going to have a lot of uh, a lot of guys that have a lot of playmaking ability. But I 
also believe that, that uh, they showed up and how they worked, how they competed each and every day, whether it's blocking, whether it's catching passes. Uh, I'd be honest with you, I've been very impressed with that. Obviously, Devin does things well. He thinks he does well. He, he, uh, he made a big play yesterday in the touchdown or a long, long catch. Uh, I think we talk about him as a group. We talk about him. We talk about our team as an entire team. Each guy brings some different things. And I look for all those young receivers to contribute in some way. That's catching balls, blocking, playing in some special teams. But as a whole, I think can you talk about the progress of the line and how their play the experience is going to impact your season ultimately and who's going to start QB? I think that's where the game always starts, is up front, whether it's offensive side of the ball or defensive side of the ball. And we're going to put a lot of heat on those guys because today, like the Michael Brewster's the ball, the Julian Shugards, those guys have been in there, they've been in the battle, they know what it's like in front of 106,000 people. So we're going to put a lot more pressure probably on them to take some off of the, of the quarterback. I think they've come together. I think we've, we've had a group that uh, might be a little thin right now, but have uh, have a lot of ability. But that's what that's what Ohio State's always been about. I think if we can be solid up front, we'll give us a lot better chance. You talked about that uh, camaraderie, that trust you have for your guys. Can you talk about it as a player that that fine you have with Ray? We'll think this is even on your line. And how that uh, what that meant. That's the beauty of, of, of sports in general. I think that's the beauty of Ohio State. Is there, are, there is so much scrutiny and all the pressures and different things that come along with this place that, that those guys become such a tight and group. When adversity hits, you know, that's just uh, that's just the making for greatness. And I think whether that's it's happened like that for this class or this team, I think they've, they've come together. <coughs> Staying together is, is what the process is all about. But there is a bond there. I think that's the unique thing, as you can see. Even with the coaching staff, this, this, this place is unique. And the bonds that you create, whether you're a coach or you're a player, last a lifetime. Whether it's recruiting or it's you know, talking to your own team, I think that's probably the biggest thing I said. You don't quite understand until you get it. Uh, that's, like I said, that's the same way as a recruiter, as a player, as a coach. But there's so many things that, that you go through that time. Uh, Become something so much tighter than anybody can ever Do you think Mike had a burning desire to kill me? Is it also part of his mission to help a friend? I think he's always had a burning desire to kill You can ask him that. And it's not, like I said, it's not just about me, it's not just about him. I think it's about a lot of stuff. I think it's, uh, you know, he always wanted to be a coach or not, whether one of your best friends to, to help you out in any way possible. I think. Uh, the situation we held on the time state is something that's far greater than even our own friendships here. So there's a lot of things that I think I had to do. Did you raise a lot of actual people in this I where that came from and what that something that was going to happen to you. It actually came from a book. It's A.D. Andrew's book. I just forgot the title. I was like, let's just start to say that. What's that? Yeah. What's that? Yeah. Yeah. No, that's, that's, uh, but it, it, it's, it's, it's a story about Joshua Chamberlain back in the Civil War. Kind of a guy that was uh, a school teacher. He was thrown into a, a house in the battle to Gettysburg. And the biggest thing he said was, you need to make decisions to make the war. I thought it kind of rang to me when he said that, one of those things he said, no matter what happens, you never find a bullet in my back. Because I'll never retreat. That was kind of something that always stuck to me. And in our situation, it was kind of fitting that we read that. I gave the book to Coach in the spring. We read it as a team in the spring. As well as everything's kind of happening the way it has. We fall back and reflect on what, what, what do you think you need to be successful? Who are you and what are, what are you going to be about? Those kind of things were kind of me, but it's obviously something That's all a challenge. I think that's what, that's what sports are about. It's a mental challenge. How you can do that each and every day. You can say the weight room is out of 
is a huge part of what we do in football. There's a million different ways of looking. There's a million different ways of playing defense. There's a million different ways of what offense you need. But I think the challenge is that you can do and get the momentum to keep them on your toes. When you go out to a football game, you're going to get a different defense that you've seen as an offense. You're going to get a different offense or a couple plays that you've seen as a defense. And, and how you can react and respond to those things and how you can handle adversity in big, tough situations is key. So to me, it's all about being tested. I tell them every day in practice, the reason I act the way I do in practice at times is because I want to put pressure on you. I want to put heat on you. Because if you're worried about what I'm thinking, how are you going to react in front of 106,000 people? So, does it, does it drive them nuts sometimes? I know the guys that I used to coach it does. Why are you on me? Why are you on me? So, I just want to see how you react. I want to see how you handle 106,000 people blowing your mouth at you. I mean, just, you know, I, I'm, I guess I'm an emotional person. I'm on uh, fire. I holler. I scream. I hype. Some things like that. I get on just to see how they react. You know, like I was trying to tell them all the time, I'm attacking the actions. I'm not attacking the person. To me, that's the thing we want to do. Hey, we're, we're, we're going after the actions. And, and, and in what we do, we've got to try and figure out. We don't have preseason games to figure out how guys are going to respond and react in live situations. So what do we got to do? we got to put pressure on them. The only way we know how to do that is to be on you, you know, coach your heart, get on you, you know. When you really walk off the field, you know, you got to know you care. But sometimes think about what they're not sure, but when they go back to the room, they know, they know we care about them. The work gets a test. Two more questions. Everything that's happened in the offseason, almost like one of the symbolic things that you want to explain to me about. I don't know if that's today. Yesterday was maybe that. Today it is what it is. It's, it's, a, it's almost a non-practice day, so no, we might be right back in there still continue to practice and preparing for what we're doing. But it is, I think everything is, is since we started camp is, is a sense that we've moved on. The way that our guys have handled it, to be honest with you, is unbelievable. I, I couldn't be more proud of that. The way the coaches have handled it, I couldn't be more proud. The big key will be how we handle it. The different things that come throughout the season. With the running game, uh, just kind of how many backs are going to see carries in these first few games? I'll tell you that exactly. I mean, we've got a bunch of guys that uh, that I think can be successful. And it's going to come down to taking advantage of your opportunity. So if there is there isn't a front runner right now. You don't think that's going to be your main workhorse? I'm, I'm not going to sit here and say there's one for sure. Like I said, there's a bunch of guys that can do a bunch of different things. And what you do with your opportunities that you get, that will determine how many more times you get those opportunities. Thank you. Thank you.